it is I, the heel, it's the Ballers, and I'm here with another video today, and I'm going to be talking about AEW Grand Slam, which is live from Arthur Ashe Stadium, AEW's biggest event, crowd-wise, and it's going to be a pretty big event. I'm very excited, I cannot wait, I am hyped, and we're going to be having a Rampage, of course, in the stadium as well, two hours, which is two hours of SmackDown, and then two hours of Rampage, four hours combined of professional wrestling on Friday, yay, very excited. So let's get into it, I'm just going to skin through Rampage, because to be honest with you, I'm, I'm excited, at the same time, I'm more excited with the main show Grand Slam, so let's get into it. The Super Click, Adam Cole and the Young Bucks against Christian Cage and Jurassic Express, I'm going to go with the Super Click to get the win. The Inner Circle, consisting of Chris Jericho and Jake Hager, going against the Men of the Year. Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page. I'm going to go with the Inner Circle. CM Punk and Powerhouse Hobbs. I'm going with CM Punk, obviously. Suzuki Goon against... Excuse me, Suzuki Goon, Noah Suzuki, and Lance Archer against John Mox and Eddie Kingston. A lights out match. I am picking, of course, John Mox and Eddie Kingston to walk out the winners. An eight-man tag consisting of the Lucha Bros, Santana Ortiz against the Hardy Family Office. I'm going to go with the Lucha Bros and Santana Ortiz to get the win. And Anna Jay against Melby Ford. I'm going to go with Anna Jay to get the win. Enough said. Pretty good card. Very excited for it. So let's get into the main card here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to skim through it. Yeah, not, not quickly, but I'm going to talk about it as much as I can. Stat card for the main show, ladies and gentlemen. Hope I didn't go too fast, but mm -hmm. it's just, I'm very excited. And plus, you know, there's not much to talk about, like, match cards. It's pretty big, but it's not. It's just a regular show inside of a stadium, which I'm very excited about. So I'm going to give Tony Khan his crew some credit there, you know. So let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Brian Pillman Jr. against MJF. Um, the storyline's just been Okay, ish, you know, MJF is, you know, the type of guy that goes too far and that kind of stuff. You know, he gets people angry and that kind of stuff. I'm gonna lie, I got a teeny tiny little bit upset what he said that, um, if he were to go with all those jokes, that stuff doesn't sit well with me, but to each his own. I mean, I know he's a heel, but some of the stuff I can, just can't defend, in my opinion. That's, that's, that's just too far, but whatever, it's MJF and what do you expect from him. And Brian Pillman Jr., of course, um, he's great. Rest in peace with Spider, by the way. Love him. And, um, I think this will be a really fun match. Um, it's just for filler. Brian Pillman Jr. is going to come out with the win just to get revenge on MJF for what he did. Now I kind of stuff to respecting his father and I kind of shtick. So that's going to be this case there. Brian Pillman Jr. is going to get the win over MJF. We got Malachi Black and Cody Rhodes in a rematch. Very excited for this match. Malachi is fantastic, you guys know. Um, I'm very glad AEW is protect protecting him. He's been great so far. His gimmick is incredible. I'm personally liking him better here than I kind of did in WWE. You know, may roster wise, you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. They didn't want to get into his full capacity. That's just me. Um, this is going to be a fun match. Cody Rhodes is back after being gone for like two months. After being kicked in the head and squashed by Malachi Black. I'm not going to actually thought that Cody was going to win that match, but hey. Put him over. Good job, Cody Rhodes. Um, so here, who am I going to pick? Malachi. I pick Malachi to win, and maybe Cody's going to turn heel afterwards. That's what I think is going to happen. But Malachi's going to get the win. If Cody Rhodes gets the win, I'm not even going to be pissed off. I'm just going to roll my eyes and be like, you screwed up, Tony. You screwed up. But whatever. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go with um, Malachi Black to kick Cody Rhodes again in the face and win. Maybe Cody turns heel, like I said. We got Stinger Darby out against FTR. This match was set up this past week. You know, FTR came out and disrespected, you know, um, Darby Allen and Sting, and then here we are. And they attacked them after, you know, they fought off 2.0, I believe. I can't remember what match they, they were fighting in, but um, Suzuki Goon came out. I don't remember what we were having this past week. Um, this will be a fun match. I legit thought FTR was going to be forced to retire because of uh, Dax Har Harwood and his injury, but thank God he's okay. And, um, you know, he's ready to rock and roll. And uh, here we are. It's going to be a great match. It's going to be fantastic, in my opinion. Um, Sting is going to do his good shtick in there. You know, Sting being, Sting being used wrestling-wise, eh, it's still a little weird, but I'm, I don't mind it. As long as he doesn't get hurt or anything like that, severely hurt, then, you know, it is what it is. Um, I, to be honest, I think FTR needs to win here. You know, just cement their status as a dominant tag team once again because they've kind of been lost in the shuffle like I expected. But, you know... It is what it is. I love Darby Allen after coming off the win with C after coming off a loss with of CM Punk in Chicago, which by the way was really fun. You guys know that. Um, you know he's been doing pretty good. They've been handling Darby very well, and um, you know here we are. I'm gonna go with uh, FTR get the win. That's just me. I don't really it doesn't make any sense in my opinion to have uh, Darby Allen Sting win here. If they do win, that's fine. But I think you know, FTR deserve the win here to get the win over the you know the legend Sting and Darby Allen. They're probably gonna they're probably gonna lose, but I just want to be different and say FTR is gonna win. That's going to be a fun match. FTR is going to beat Sting and Darby Allen. Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. 
against Ruby Soho. Ruby Soho debuted, of course, at All Out in the Battle Royal, won the Battle Royal, which I thought was a stupid decision because, in my opinion, you no know, Thunder Rose, in my opinion, deserved to win that match, you know. But whatever, they're hot shot, and it is what it is. I'm not really going to complain about it, but I just, I just don't care for it. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for her and all that kind of stuff, but her getting a title shot immediately like that, just, it, I don't know. I'm not trying to complain here, but you'll understand. You guys probably understand what I'm trying to say. I just doesn't really sit well with me. I like Ruby Soho. I'm glad she's here, um, but I don't know. I just don't really know how I feel about her getting a title shot. Anyways, moving on past that, um, it's going to be a fun match. Of course, Britt Baker and her actually had a pretty good promo back and forth this past week. And uh, it was pretty good. Yeah, threw jabs at each other. She threw a shot at um, Britt Baker for sleeping with Adam Cole. And then Britt Baker threw it right back at her by saying that you know, she was left in catering in WWE, which was very true. And yeah, just shots, shots, shots. It was great. Very look to, looking forward to this match. As much as people want Ruby Soho to win this match, I don't think she needs to win this match. Um, she's going to lose. If they put it on her, the title on her too quickly... You know, of course, the wrestling fan base is going to turn. It's going to be a great moment. She wins it, but yeah, I realize what the wrestling fan base is nowadays. They'll probably turn on all kind of stuff. We never know. Maybe she'll go on a good run. But in my opinion, Britt Baker, in my opinion, needs to retain here and probably lose title down the road to Thunder Rose, especially with the rumors that are rumors that are going on with, you know, Britt Baker and uh, Thunder Rose tangling it up again in 2022. Keep the title on Britt Baker. Thunder Rose, uh, you know, not Thunder Rose. Yeah, keep the title on Britt Baker. Um, and uh, Thunder Rose will take an offer down the road. It's not going to hurt Ruby Soho since she had her first win already in AEW. So, one win, one loss. It's not going to do anything. Britt Baker's retaining here. Enough said. And in the main event, we have Brian Danielson against Kenny Omega. This is the match everyone's been looking forward to. This is the main reason I'm watching this show. Um, it's going to be a stat, stat match. I'm very excited. My man D. Bry, Brian D., Daniel Bryan, whatever you want to call him. Brian Danielson, whatever you want to call him, is an AEW. It's fantastic. At first, I'm not going to lie, you know, the rumors spoke. Spoiled around, I was like, I don't know about this. I was a little, little angry a little bit. I was like, I don't know if he's going to fit well in there, you know? And here he is. He's happy. He's smiling. That's why I want to see him. I want to see him succeed. That's the reason. I want to see him succeed, and that's what he's doing. He's chasing his dream. He's facing Kenny Omega. Thank God it's not for the title, as we expected. There's no way they put the title in line. Not yet, anyways. And here we are. Looking forward to this match. I really, really think that this is where... Kenny Omega maybe gets pinned because Tyler's not on the line. Braun gets his first win, AEW. Um, of course, he got pinned by Christian Cage uh, for the T in Impact Championship. So here we are um, with this match. Brian Danielson's going to go over. And I expect a weird... I expect um, maybe after the match, uh, my boy Hangman's going to return and confront Kenny. Maybe, who knows, there's going to be some surprises during the show. Guarantee you, the only, the only Tony Khan... Um, we'll see what happens with this match. I do see Daniel Bryan, Brian Danis, whatever you want to call him, or as I call him now, Brian D, to get the win over Kenny Omega. And it's going to be a fun match. I am really, really looking forward to it. I will be doing live reactions to it, guys, by the way. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. It's going to be insane. He's going to pull it all in. Brian says he wants the best bout machine. He wants the best wrestling in the world, apparently. So we'll see what happens with that if Brian gets his wish on Wednesday. So, yeah, Brian Danderson's going to go over. Brian Danielson's going to win that match. It's going to be great. I cannot wait. And with that being said, that is my predictions. AEW Grand Slam. Very much looking forward to it. Can't wait. I'm excited. Uh, you guys can't wait. And we're going to see what happens on Wednesday night and, of course, Friday night. Anyways, that's my predictions, guys, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, I really hope you did. T. Smith, the down below. Subscribe to this one. Videos like this one. Follow guys on Twitter, Hill Baller. Instagram, Hill Baller YT. And I will see you all in the next one. Too sweet. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.